Boom, and we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. We are episode 36. That is divisible by 6 and 3 and 2 and 1. Okay. So let's get started. All right, <laughs> so we got uh, five topics as usual. It was, was it five? No, it was four it topics. Was, it was four. It was four. Yeah, I was wrong. Someone got confused. Yeah, I got confused in the last one, but we're, <laughs> we're adding it. We're switching it up to five now. Uh, the beginning ones were four. Mm -hmm. I was incorrect. Yes, I d did double check that. Okay, so uh, my first one is um, BJJ controversy. So we recently went to um, um, a like uh, like uh, this is more about shady people. Okay, okay. So this topic is about shady people. So it's funny how like with like celebrities and then you go to uh, their events and stuff, you never think that they would be screwed over for anything, right? Right, like, cause you're like, oh, right. they're running the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But then like, so I recently saw, so we went to this uh, Henry Gracie uh, seminar and um, he was there with Brian T. City and then like, I, I had some run-ins with the guy that was organizing the event. Like he was a little shady on our end. Like uh, he asked us to do like private classes for like $12,000 and he wanted to be paid up front. He's like, I want that $12,000 now. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> that was pretty sketchy. And then, right. and then I was like, yeah, I don't really have that money, that much money. Oh, he's like, he's like, we can break it up into four, four payments. Come on, let's get this started. And I was like, okay, you're like a weird businessman. I was like, all right, never mind. I, I can't actually do this. I don't want to proceed, but I'm still going to your seminar, right? Yeah. So then we go to the seminar. It's pretty awesome. And then it's been two months since the, since the seminar, two or three months. And uh, Henry Gracie finally posted something. He's like, uh, we got Jack for ten thousand dollars. So what? Oh. Ten thousand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So what happened was that guy took everyone's money. So this is how the business model works. People pay. Uh, the guy, Chris Robinson, like, uh, I'm just going to say his name because, like, that's what Henner did. Um, uh, Chris Robinson, he's, like, he's held, like, uh, events in the past with, like, uh, different fighters, famous people, other people from the Gracie family. And yeah. uh, what happens is that he – well, actually, Henner, this is, like, his second seminar there. So, so I don't know how the first one went, but this one, what happened – but, like – in the first one, the Chris Robinson guy, he had a huge facility, like a giant, like um, like a giant place, right? And then later, uh, when we went back for the second one, it was like in some underground basement. So it was like, oh, did you just lose money? Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Right. But then it attests to a shady character. Okay, so yeah. the business model works like this: we pay online, we click on the the Gracie Jiu Jitsu site for the thing, we pay. Um, Chris Robinson. Chris Robinson gets paid, and then he pays Henry Gracie and Brian T. City. Okay. Yeah. So when when he paid them, uh, he he cut them a check for ten thousand dollars. That check bounced. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, he contacted me. He's like, "Hey, your check bounced." And then what happened was like he just never heard from him again. Right. Okay. And just like ran for the hills. Or ran for the hills. Yeah. So then, uh, Henry Gracie in his video, he like outed him. He's like, "Do not trust Chris Robinson." I'm surprised he didn't like he didn't like disavow his black belt or whatever. But he's just like, "This is a shady character." Anyone I would I know I would never recommend him. If Chris Robinson does the right thing, I will um I will like post an update, right? Right. So nobody posts an update. So I'm reading the comments on it, and then Chris Robinson commented on the video on Facebook, and he's like, um, "We already addressed this, Henner." Like, uh, social media is not the place to address this. Uh -huh. Like, we should do it in private. I was like, oh, that may kind of make sense. Maybe, maybe. But it's just more like you're just trying to hide your shadiness to the world. Yeah, but maybe, yeah, but, but it's like, I think that he did do it outside of social media at first, but there was no answer, right? Exactly. So, and then this is the way he got that someone hit him to actually talk again. It, that's true. Yeah, it, that's one thing, too. It's like, because it pushed him to the brink. Because then, like, then everyone just started ripping. I was reading the comments. Everyone was ripping Chris Robinson. <laughs> I went to his page, and I was like, oh, I wonder if, like, it's blocked or, like, it's an open page, and, like, he yeah. didn't take it down. But then um, uh, he hasn't posted anything on his social media ever since uh, uh, the last Henry Gracie seminar. It's right. almost like he's like, this is going to be my last one, and then I'm going to get out. I'm just going to take everyone's money, and then I'm going to leave, you know? Yeah. It's like a scam. And, um, yeah, it was pretty sketch. Imagine if I had like paid the twelve thousand dollars, then never like gotten any private trainings, because like he's in North York, right? Right. Well, we we we're in North York, but like he's a little further away, so yeah. he's just like, oh, I, I just can't make it. Oh, I'm not here. Oh, but it's like, dude, I already paid you. It's like, oh, well, mm -hmm. 
sorry, I don't have the time, or I'm leaving somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you gotta watch your back for sketchy people. And it's funny because like intuition, right? Because when I first met him, when I was texting him, well, actually, the funny part is I first met him years and years ago because uh, the academy that I was working at yeah. um, wanted us to do like training under him. But then, like, the academy that I was working at was already going really commercial, so it makes sense that we were learning from him. Because yeah. it's like he was the most commercially successful person. And then now, like, five years down the line, it's like he's scamming people. And it's like, oh, okay, that's why he was so successful, because he was scamming people the whole time. Yeah. You know? Wow. Um, but yeah, like, um, yeah, that's pretty messed up, eh? That's I'm, pretty messed up. It, I don't, why? Like, how do you do that, right? And yeah. I'm surprised that, like, <clears throat> the backlash that I got, like, like it's just like he just got hated on he's like never and then people in the comments were like your career is done like you better be looking for a new job because yeah. it's like you just got you just got told by the guy the grandson of the founder of brazilian jiu-jitsu and you're yeah. a brazilian jiu-jitsu yeah, that's teacher that's a big deal and i think that will affect your i mean you're done <laughs> you're done you're like, done there's you're done no way even if you give henner the ten thousand dollars now that's probably why he doesn't give it to him because your reputation's already shot yeah they'll always have that video of you scamming henner oh yeah you know but i don't know i wonder i wonder how it's gonna unfold yeah okay. I, I yeah that's just horrible man i don't know how you can live with yourself right yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. dude you just took that dude's money you know and it's like it's one thing to be like because like my other friend was like oh now we know he gets paid ten thousand dollars per seminar and i'm like yeah but he earned it you know he's paying what right. he's due it's not it's not like you came in there and it's like oh shoot i have to pay ten thousand there's like no we agreed upon the appropriate amounts. Yeah, exactly. And you're choosing my services. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's that's pretty messed up. I wonder what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Only time can tell. But it was pretty funny because like, because when I because I clicked on it because it was like clickbaity, right? We got Jack for ten thousand dollars. I was like, mm -hmm. how did they get robbed? I thought maybe it was like an LA thing. Right. And then he like opens up. He opens up with like. So it's we something were, that you were connected to. You know what I mean? Like. But I didn't know. Yeah. So right. Then, right. Right. And, yeah, and then I he started saying that, yeah. he's like, we were doing a seminar outside of Toronto, and I was like, wait, I was at a seminar. And he's like, yeah, two months, two months back. I was like, wait, wait, wait. And then he's like, Chris Robinson. He shows the picture. I was like, oh my god, I was at that seminar, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. And then yeah, it's just crazy. So you had to pay to go in, or yeah, we all paid. It was so, like, uh, and that money was supposed to go to him. Uh, go to like they great, split it yeah. up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. Yeah. So yeah. that may have been he kept everything. Yeah, he did keep that, everything. Yeah. yeah. So it's more than that, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He only owed Henner ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's like each of us paid like. And there's a lot of people there. So like, uh, if you got the whole day, it was like almost 500 bucks, I think, something like that. Right, right. And then one single seminar is like 180. Oh man. So like, <laughs> you got a lot of money, yo. Yeah. yeah. Well, but yeah, that's crazy. But all right. So speaking of shady people, let's counter this topic with an unshady person, and let's jump into CJ. So yeah, is is an IRL streamer. Okay. Right. Let me just get this information out here. Um, CJ, if you don't know, uh, twitch.tv slash C E E J A Y. No, no, just C J J A C and then J A Y. Oh, okay. Yeah. CJ. So CJ. Uh, all right. There we go. You yeah. want to play it a little bit? Yeah, all right. Jump in it. <laughs> uh, so basically. There we go. Uh, basically, there was a stream that happened. Okay. Uh, a hot tub stream. Uh uh hot okay. tub stream. Well, it, actually, it 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 was everything was under following the guidelines of Twitch still. Nothing, okay. Nothing was so no no like no naked scenes. Yeah, no naked scenes. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. And then, um, so someone took a clip. Okay. There's an action that the girl did. Okay. And then someone took the clip and titled it like, uh, I don't know if it was exactly titled because it was in it was in Chinese. Okay. Uh, I think it. It might have been titled like Taiwan girls are easy or something about easy, right? Uh -huh. And uh, they mistook that the, the Taiwanese news mm -hmm. as as if he meant as if CJ had wrote that, right? Mm -hmm. So in on Twitch you can make clips. Okay. Anyone can make a clip and title it whatever. Okay. Right. And so they. Uh, it was it was another Twitch guy that started this whole thing actually, okay. like some Taiwanese streamer. I think his name is CK, and it's like a weird, weird numbers and stuff like that, right? Okay. But I think it's because it's like a Chinese name, so that it'll show up as numbers on it. Right, because the, the characters yeah. don't yeah. transfer over. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so that guy, 
uh, went after CJ saying like, oh, he's saying that all Taiwanese girls are easy. Because in the chat, when that action happened, you see the letters E and Z. Oh, so people assumed. So, so they are thinking that, it, again, I'll, I'll explain what the E and Z means. But oh, like, that's crazy. So they took that EZ and then they took it like, oh, he's saying Taiwan girls are easy. And, oh, and then took that other video of the clip. Rough life, right? bro. So, uh, but he never said Taiwan girls are easy. So just to say that for sure. Like, uh -huh. he never said that, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> and he wouldn't say that. Um, so the letter E and Z, you'll only see it as E and Z if you don't have this. It's called BTTV emotes. Okay. It's called Better Twitch TV Emotes. Okay. Okay. And w what you'll get when you type E and Z is your it'll show up as a Pepe the Frog with sunglasses on. We'll show oh, you an image in the, in okay, the video. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So that's what shows up if you have that emote or emotic, um, if you have that uh, extension on. Oh, so it's a case of like mistake, like misunderstanding. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, it's a misunderstanding, but no one is listening to his side here right there CJ side yeah CJ side okay so they're just focused on what CK started and then they just everyone so what basically what CK did was like tell his viewers to go and report him okay and then twitch felt like they needed to react but there was nothing that he did was needing of any reporting you know what I mean okay so but twitch did react and banned him for like three days okay uh, so and then, uh, then some people started harassing his family. No, like it way. went, it went that level, and it just it went out of hand. You know what I mean? Like mm. it, it, it was not at all what uh, they had. A, um, I mean, I think the intention maybe was that it is. I think there's like hand. some some sort of like a, a racist reaction to these white people in Asia. Oh, okay, like I, okay. I wonder if that's what that is. So and, so if you don't know, CJ is a white guy. So like give, give the backstory, yeah. backstory of uh, CJ. So yeah, he's so CJ is um, he's from America and he's been going and living in Taiwan for the past ten years. Mm -hmm. He studied there and all that stuff and now he wanted to he wanted to live there but he didn't want to like teach English. Okay. So streaming was a very great option for him uh -huh. and that was when it was getting bigger and uh -huh. he, and he's made it like so basically him streaming has also helped twitch make a lot of money as right. well of right of course yeah uh so as people sub there's a portion of that also goes to twitch so so an irl is in real life so in, in real on, life yeah. on twitch you can have the option of either streaming your video game or just streaming like your like daily life yeah or yeah doing you know both at different times right yeah, exactly. Which are, which are, anyway, so, so then, so Twitch, you know, followed what the rep people were reporting mm -hmm. as, and then they banned him for like three days mm. for n no reason, and not really giving an actual reason to CJ as okay. to why, oh, right? Okay, okay. So they kind of were keeping quiet this whole time. So Twitch banned still him because quiet. of the potential backlash? Like, they're, they're, like, they started to see some controversy, and they're like, oh, let's save our skin. Let's yeah, just, yeah. And I think so. I think so. Yeah. Nobody wanted to even look into it. I don't want, yeah, I think so. But Twitch is also not speaking at all. Oh, really? Yeah. On the, on the case? Yeah, yeah. They're staying silent. Really? Yeah, out of this whole thing. Yeah. Is there a reason why? I, I think it's just a business thing. They don't want to really get involved in it. Okay, in a sense. sense. Yeah, yeah. But like, CJ has done nothing wrong. Okay. In my opinion, he's not even one of the most like, most famous streamers either, right? He's not, but he's pretty up there with IRLs though now. Right. right. In, but in but this, it's, it's in, not like uh, it's not like a freaking million followers or anything. Him. Um, followers? N I don't think so. I don't have the follower count on me, but he does get an average of like uh, about a thousand to fifteen hundred views. Yeah, so it's like so. okay, so he's a moderate streamer. Yeah, he's yeah, like there's, a growing there's, of streamer. Of course, bigger than that, but yeah, like yeah, okay. uh, it's still pretty big. Okay, yeah. He'll yeah. be when you search for him in IRL and when he's streaming, he'll be on the top like right, right, top right. chart kind of thing. But that's interesting though, because it's like even if he's not a top streamer, you can't blame the top streaming thing on this one. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. oh, we're we're um. Like, like when you report someone, it's, it's it's for an actual thing where they've done something exa exactly. against the guidelines it, of Twitch. It, it's more like they just uh, they just jump the gun on a person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, after then, you know, all this harassing, he's been now. He was off streaming for like two two weeks. Okay. 
he only came back on yesterday because he's been talking about T- TGS for like most of his streams. Like that okay. this is gonna be a big T- thing. TGS is uh, so technology. TGS. Uh, no, is uh, I think uh, it's Taipei Game Show. Okay. Uh, or Taiwan Game Show. Uh-huh. Mm, so, and he's been talking about that, and he's wanted to stream that for a while, right? Okay. So it kind of all That's happened cool. at this sort of time where he didn't really want to come back, but it's like he doesn't want to let this ruin. Uh, his. Let this one. He doesn't want to miss this stream because right, he's been right, talking right. about this a lot too. Of course, That's, of he said that yesterday as, as I was watching it. Um, but uh, it, it's the story's still not done. He's he even made like a video for the Taiwanese news uh-huh. uh, for his side of the view because the news never got his side of the story. Oh really? Yeah, never got his side of the story, and just got uh, the opposing side only as if, and then portrayed him as the villain. Oh, sense. that's interesting. But like, in this would be called fake news. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, but he, but he's been doing some stuff in the two weeks in in the background, but like he's not uh, fully saying what it is yet. And like, he will reveal it. Uh-huh. He said like yesterday. Oh, he's working on a new thing. Not a new like he's working on a way to uh, bring back his reputation and also cover him. For these kind of defamation stuff that's happening. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But what happened to the people that like called it, called him out? So know? yeah, and it, it's not just that they're calling him out. Actually, uh, well, nothing's going to happen to them. Actually, right? Exactly. But yeah. but, uh, but like they were even giving him death threats. Oh no So way. that that's serious, and still Twitch is not uh, listening to CJ's side. Like, or they're just staying quiet. I think they know both sides. Right. 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 Um, does he have to watch his back when he's in uh, Taiwan? So, so when we were watching the stream, I was also on his Discord. Okay. And people were uh, taking pictures of him. Oh no way! Yeah, some people were like taking pictures and then like saying, "Oh, come at me" or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they were gonna do. They were doing nothing, right? Right. But, like, right. kind of like, kind of scare him in a sense, yeah, 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 yeah. right? So, and he, and it's not like he's he hates Taiwan. He's been living there for 10 years. He, he loves Taiwan. Right. And actually what he's doing with him streaming is actually brings people to go visit Taiwan. That's true, yeah. He encourages more, tourism. More people, yeah, more people want to like, go and visit him Cause, cause and you're visit like, Taiwan. You're like, oh, I had no idea it was like that over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And again, most of his views are North American. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I guess they maybe there's a, like a misunderstanding of certain, again, these emotes things. The EZ is such a way... If you don't understand this, you're gonna get it for sure. misunderstood, right? For sure, so, for sure, for sure. And he tried to explain this in that video that he was showing, uh, uh, giving to the um, to Taiwanese news to mm-hmm. to show his side, but they never aired it, right? Oh, rough, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so again, I don't know what he he said. He's doing stuff in the, in in the background that's gonna uh, help him uh, help him out and stuff. Okay. So. Uh, but when do we find out about So, I don't is? know. He said he's going to talk about his side of view on his YouTube channel very Ooh, soon. Oh, he has so a YouTube channel. He does have a YouTube channel. Um, also called a, CJ Ride, I believe. It's not as popular? Uh, well, no. He puts it as VODs and stuff, right? Uh, it's just as like same way we have we have a Twitch channel. Right, And right, right. we put stuff on, on YouTube as well. Like, this stuff is all on YouTube. Right, We right, do right. a lot of gaming streaming on, on Twitch, right? Got so, you, that, yeah. that's kind of the stuff. That he has it as, so he'll put something on on YouTube. Right, uh, I understand. He said soon, so I don't know when exactly. Uh, then we'll get we'll get his side of view, his side, his point of view as well, because I don't know all the story. Not everyone knows all the story too, because he hasn't said exactly. Right, his side of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, basically, the story's not done yet, in a sense. But mm-hmm. he did start his stream yesterday at at the TGS after two weeks of hiatus. So. But he's kind of busy doing stuff in the background to to fi- fix all that stuff. Right, 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 right. How how often does he stream? Normally, he would stream almost every day. Take take a couple of days off. Uh huh. But like because of, once it started and how the many ban hours ha- is so though? so basically once the ban happened, which was three days, he was unbanned after. But Twitch said like it's they didn't give him the right to st- not that they didn't give him he could stream, but right. they they didn't give him the acknowledgement. Oh yeah, you can go ahead and stream. Right, now, right, 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 right. Like he was waiting for that too. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And but but how how many hours a day does he stream? Uh, uh like a normal eight hours, I think. Uh, Dang, or it's like so it's split like, up it's between like a the, serious job. Oh, this this is a full time job for him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is kind of affecting his career in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, this 
whole backlash, uh, which has gone way out of hand in a sense. Yeah, that's nuts, man. Yeah, that's too bad, yo. Because it's like, and he had nothing to do with this. Yeah, j- just like lost in translation can make you go so far. Have you ever heard of uh, Nova? There's this like famous business uh, thing where it's like they called the Chevy Nova and then they brought it to uh, I think like Spain or something. But Nova means no go, so nobody bought it because it's like the car doesn't run. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's like it's like lost in translation. I, really mess you but up. I don't. Yeah, it's it's lost in translation. Also, people don't understand emotes. These exactly. extensions. No, no, but even there's that's so much to this. Yeah, it, that that it, exactly, exactly. But like even that's a translation because it's like LOL. Like a somebody that's not from our generation will be like, "What's well, an LOL?" Yeah, and then that's you know translation. Yeah. It's, it's interesting how words now are um, are <laughs> are like um, we're we're going from like you know different languages to a new language, which is online language. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like um, what do you, what do you call this? Abbreviate not abbreviations. They're abbreviations. just emotes, right? They're just emotes. Like yeah, 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 yeah emoticons and exactly, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Emotes is a short form for another word. So. Yeah, uh, yeah his story's not really done, uh, and I hope it gets better for him too. Cause yeah, he's, yeah, true. Because because he's not lives. like he's not like famous, uber famous to be able to you know, exactly. have a bodyguard like, or something. That's yeah, a lot of money, it, man. It's not like he's like a millionaire. He's just doing this. He's like getting quite good at it. Yeah. So yeah. you're kind of stifling a career. Yeah. You know. But speaking of, uh, you have anything else about CJ? I uh, know that was it. I think. All right. Um, cool. 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 All right. Check this out. So speaking of uh, emotes, online language, and um, two sides to every story. All right. What do you know about the Trump campaign? Like, uh, like, what's what your perspective you of Trump? My cousin enlightened me to this one. I was like, dude, I didn't even think about this one. So, like, uh, what is your perspective of uh, Donald Trump? Uh, like, like, j- not not necessarily your perspective, but the overarching perspective, the whole narrative. I, mm, I don't know. Uh, I, I I just know the reason why he was voted in, not just not necessarily. No, but like, do people love him? Do people hate him? Well, there's both sides. Yeah, there's there's a, there's a, it's like an identity politics. People hate him on the other side. Uh, they want him out of office, and then there's the other side that really likes what he's doing. Yeah. All right. All right. So so check check this out. So uh, the general consensus on like CNN, if you put that on, is they hate him, right? And then yeah, yeah, of course. if you if you put on Fox News, they love him, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So. Most of what we hear about Donald Trump is like if you ask any Canadian, like I always hear like, oh, did you hear that thing he said about women? Do you hear, oh, he's such a sexist pig. Oh, he's all this. Oh, do you see, you hear what he said about those Haiti people? Like yeah, negative, yeah. negative, negative. I'm like, yeah, that is pretty negative. But we only get CNN in Canada, so it makes sense that all they know is the negative stuff. Did you know that he is? He no, we is, get both. We get Fox News? Yeah. We, you can get all that. What channel, though? Uh, we were looking for it on the news. We're like, what channel is Fox News? Uh, I'm not sure, but I know we can get it. Oh, but it just maybe depends. It's, maybe it's like you have to like, it. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but CNN, you know, like, same thing. CNN just, just doesn't come like. No, that. it comes with basic cable. No, it doesn't come with basic cable. Well, what's basic cable? You don't get CNN with that. But my, you you get like ABC, NBC, I believe. Oh, wait, what's the one up from basic cable? Because <laughs> my sister was like, you get up to channel 50 with the like the lowest um, cable package. From Rogers, but you're a Bell though, right? Yeah. So yeah. So so you're Bell. I'm I'm Rogers. So on Rogers, basic cable includes CNN. It goes up to fifty channels, so you get thirty three, which mm-hmm. is CNN. Mm-hmm. But there is no. Um, yeah. So uh, there's no basic cable. There's no CNN on basic cable. But there is um, no, no. But but I mean on, NBC, on Rogers, ABC there is. and stuff. No, I'm I'm talking I'm, I'm Bell. Bell, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So that, that's the that's another funny thing. It's like Bell and Rogers have completely different channels. You have to like relearn the channel. Well, if you of switch. course, of course. I mean, no, 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 no it's just funny because it's like their competition. Right? It's like what? All right, anyways, all right. That's that's a whole other topic of like oligopolies and stuff. But whatever. Uh, so, um, so I didn't know this that within the past seventeen years. Trump has made America's GDP, or uh, I think it's GDP, the record high in the past 17 years, preceded only by Bill Clinton. What? what? what is so so we're, we're at a record high for um, America's GDP. Oh, you mean under his... Under his rule. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like with Obama, but it was pretty I, low, I, but, but he brought it all the way back. Obama was not low. No, no, no. no but Obama started off low. Of course, of course, of yeah. course. But now, like, because we're like, oh, we're running into the ground. But Obama didn't beat Trump. Trump's got a higher GDP 
Um, yeah, but it, I don't think that's so. There, I have heard that. Yeah, but there is two sides to that. It not necessarily means it was because of Trump. It's because of what, because a lot of the things don't get changed right away once Trump comes into office. No, of course, of course, of course. But but like when he was so the re so okay so here's the backing of that. So what he did, you know, he like cut the taxes from like sixty percent to thirty percent. Uh, yes. For, for like big businesses and yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So all of them are flooding back to America. And he's. So, of course. Right. And, and that's what's raising the GDP. I was like. But that didn't happen now. What do you mean? No, that. that ha- it was already going up from before. Of course, now it's it's higher because of that, too. Right. No, no. But right? it's like. It's like. If you really. It's already know at a high point. No, I, I get it. I get yeah. it. But I get what you're saying. But it's like. If it really wasn't. If it's not. It's like. It's like. Well, we can't. We can't. Um, we can't give credit to Trump for that, but you have to because he's the president right now. He could easily right, have been right, like, sure. "Screw it, no, I'm closing everything off." Under his reign, it's the highest it's ever been in mm-hmm. 17 years. Okay. So it's like, it's like nobody's really talking about that narrative. You know what I mean? If you actually look at it from like um, an American point of view, you know, they're although they don't like him. Well, as they're a not. They're not giving him. They're the not credit. giving the credit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. it's like, dude, I didn't hear about this at all. You know, like because my my overall narrative in Canada is that like, oh, he's like a terrible person. But then when you hear this, you're like, okay, so what is he doing correctly then? You have to relook at that now. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he might be a bad person, but it's like maybe we can learn from this, you know. And one of the things that he was saying was um, that he's focusing more on the American people than um, yeah. than like uh, externals. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like, let's make it all Americanized. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I have another great example of that. So the Philippine, um, the Philippine uh, president. Mm-hmm. So again, the overall overall narrative in North America is that he's, he's a drug killer. He's like an evil person. Blah blah blah. Right. He's like a he's like a vigilante. Yeah. Right. As a president, that's also not true because if you go into um, the Philippines, his overall trust rating is eighty two percent. So out of 10 people, yeah. eight people are like, I love that guy, yeah. right? So it's like, so then what is he doing wrong? He's doing wrong things wrong from our perspective, but how he, how he has the name of like um, a drug killer, that's not even true as well. He was saying that if somebody's begging for their life in front of me, I wouldn't kill them. Mm-hmm. That makes no sense. The, the whole idea is that um, if you tell them to stop, but if you're on, if you're on the drug Shabu, you're gonna be like hallucinating, right? So you're gonna be like you're gonna see your daughter as a demon, your wife as like uh, like cheating right. on you or something. You're gonna go crazy. So then when the police are like, stop doing that, they're gonna come attack you, and then you have a higher rate of killing them in the act of telling you yeah. them to like mm-hmm. stop. You know what I mean? So it's like, but it's like, how do you skew your facts? Right. So then um, this is really cool. So like uh, right now, I think Philippines is the third fastest growing country in Asia right now. Mm-hmm. It's the third fastest under uh, Duterte, and everyone's like, everyone in North America is like hating on him, but then people in the Philippines love him. And then Duterte's like, um, my obligation isn't to the rest of the world; it's to my people. Yeah, right. It's, it's a populism movement that's happening. That's what I'm saying. But it, yeah. it's like, it's just like the Trump thing. It's like, it's like, yeah, we're getting a skewed perspective, but like, what is he doing right? Yeah. Don't just focus on what he's doing wrong. Of course, like, just don't vote him in. So then my cousin's like, well, what if in 2020 he gets Actually, voted back see, in? There, and I was like, maybe. But there is a... Um, what he's doing is not new, too. It's also what Bush did, too. Those what? tax cuts. Taxes? Okay. Yeah. That's like a normal Republican thing to do. Taxes, but yeah. one thing that I... Um, uh, that everyone was like, oh, cheering on Trump on. Even yeah. CNN was when he... Uh, I think did the airstrike on Syria, the Syrian war. air base. Everybody loves war. Everyone, well, again, yeah. So that was everyone was saying well, that was a good job by Trump or yeah. something. I don't know if it was that one, particularly the air Syrian one, but it was like one of those airstrikes or something that he did, either Yemen or Syria. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, that everyone cheered him on. It's our animalistic tendency. It's like. Yeah, I think it's the money stick. thing. Yeah. It, of course, that's what it's I'm the saying. money it's thing. Like, I don't think it's animalistic. I think it's the money thing. Okay, what do you mean? Who, who runs... Uh, the war, the economy? Yeah, 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 and who owns CNN and all that. Like, Oh, I see, I see. So it's not the fact like that... They can easily still go after him, even for the war thing. Right, like right, right. Eventually, but who are you being everything was by? on the right side for Trump, or sorry, for Bush during the war, but then once you saw like it's not working out, then everyone started hating him, right? But, right. 
So, oh, that's interesting. So it's like, it's who are you being backed by? So Trump's being backed by other people than the people that are running CNN. Yeah. Like he's not following their um, their protocols. Uh, uh, Trump? Ooh. That That's why he's being hated by CNN, except for when he did the drone the strike. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then they're like, oh, that's a part of our protocol. Let's cheer him on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, that's pretty interesting. And uh, uh, additional side note is I was wondering, like, how do you – how is the Philippines the third fastest growing country in – Asia. I was like, it's such a small place. How does that even work? So my cousin schooled me on this one. Um, so like right now, uh, Australia gives donations or presents to um, the Philippines. So does Russia. Russia gave them a big boat with like a ton of like guns and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, there's this meme going around where it's like um, America, like two thousand. Uh, 200 million tanks something like that yeah. and then like Russia like 200,000 tanks something like that and then like Philippines two tanks right like it's, it's like a joke it's like at any moment and this is what Duterte said too he's like why would we why would we um, go to war with a country like China so like there's this yeah. like problem right now where like um, there was a problem while I was in the Philippines in like 2016 uh, Japan had like invaded a little bit of uh, Philippines area mm-hmm. because like they were saying it's theirs and the Philippines like no it's mine but then you mean um, China Did you say China or Japan I think, Japan. I think it was Japan Japan or was it China well China is the one that's next to it right or maybe it was China maybe it was China no, I think it was Jap- Japan who uh, brought their boats they had like their Japanese boats just perched there okay but, I, I or maybe it's China. I'm not sure. Well, one of those countries. Right. So then there's obviously no way that the Philippines could defend themselves. So what they said is, hey, our fishermen are dying, are hungry because they can't fish there. Yeah. We'll put this argument on pause. Just allow our fishermen to, to survive. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? So like it's – so Philippines is ruling through diplomacy and business uh, strategy yeah. versus freaking um, – War. Well, what? But first war, because they can't do anything, right? So then uh, I was like, yeah, well, I think that's good. Yeah. But right, right. But then I was like, I was like, but how does that work? Like, why would anybody want Philippines' favor? Mm-hmm. And they schooled me again. He's like, it's the major trading route between Asia, Europe, and North America. So if a boat's gonna pass to go from like, let's say, uh, uh, his best example is Australia. All supplies to Australia have to go through the Philippines because Philippine water. Right. So at any moment, if the Philippines is like, oh, that's perfect. You yeah. can't come through. <laughs> then, then Australia is done. That's why Australia gives them donations and gifts all the time oh, because it's like to keep that going. And Russia, right? That's why they gave him the like. He's like, no, be on our side because we want to lower our taxes on yeah. boats going through your water. That's crazy, right? That's how economics works. I, I when I, when he said that, I was like, that blew my mind. It's like you don't even need war power anymore. You just need economic clout. You know, he's like, oh, we'll just because who's like, it's going to be a big deal if like, so they're like, no, um, we're pissed at you, Philippines. We're just going to do our own thing. And then Philippines like, okay, we're going to go to war. Mm -hmm. It's not that Philippines is going to lose in going to war. It's just it's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad look on on the whole world. They're like, why are you going to war with the Philippines? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because they won't give us free like transit through their pathway. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. it's like it's location, location, location. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty dope. It's like two sides to every story. You got to really know um, yeah. what's going on. And like strategy is key, man. That's crazy. And even, even this other one, here's a great example. So I was saying to my cousin that like uh, Duterte is almost like the the prime example of yeah. Philippine qualities. Mm-hmm. So like we're very proud people, right? Filipinos are very proud. We're nice to you. But then the second you piss us off, we're like, we're done. You know, it's it's done. You know, so um, so your uh, I think it was France was like, we'll give you all this money because you need support right now, right? But it comes with uh, stipulations, right? So he already looked at it. He's like, we could do without your money. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's like, yo, we offering you millions of dollars, but it's like, I don't agree with these stipulations. Keep your money. Yeah, we'll survive. We we have a hard spirit. You know, that's nuts, bro. Like that. That's true. Like economic diplomacy yeah, yeah, at that yeah. point you know what i mean like to, to it's like it's like playing poker you know no one to hold them no one to fold yeah, them yeah you know so yeah i'm actually pretty stoked about that that guy now that i hear about these things but while we were down there like everyone because i know i was i was texting you while i was in the philippines and like uh do you know how he got into power 
you told me what I forgot. So, yeah. okay, so, like, you were saying, like, oh, like, he's painted as, like, like a not-so-great person here in North America, right? Mm-hmm. According to, like, whatever well, for his, sources. I think it's only for his one action, which was the drug thing, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Only so, for that action. So there's that, right? But while we were in the Philippines, everyone was cheering him on, right? Yeah. And the reason why he won is because he used Facebook. He couldn't afford ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just like because to compete with all those other people, you need heavy donations. But heavy donations come with big ties, mm-hmm. right? So it was the people who voted him in. They passed the word around through like their social media channels, and then they got him into presidency. Even my cousin like had a Duterte sticker and like yeah. gave me all this paraphernalia when I went back because mm-hmm. he was like he was like yeah we were supporters. Like they would they would do parades around their area like vote yeah. for him, vote for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I I think he's a true champion of the people. Um, there was this Christmas one. I don't know if I could find it again, and if I remember it correctly. But he's like, he's like, "Merry Christmas," unless you're a drug dealer, because I'm going to kill you. Something like that. <laughs> so it's those like, are those are the terms that. But it's like that's badass, bro. Like, damn, I can't believe you said that. Yeah, I know, but that's the thing that people don't like, right? Other people in North America, but then when he put that out, Filipinos like, "Yeah, kill him," because there's like a big, like a drug problem in the Philippines. There's a lot. There's a huge corruption. No, I right? understand that. I understand so like. Like even even with my my own personal experience, like with my my like you hear about corruption all the time, but you never experience it. But like when my dad's trying to build something and permits wouldn't go through, it's because you had to lubricate the the pathway yeah, by yeah, giving yeah. the money. But then as soon as he became in office, my dad's like, all right, I'll put my papers through, got it right away. Mm-hmm. It's only because he didn't want to pay the freaking the bribes. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But you can only do that when you have a president who's saying, don't pay bribes. Mm-hmm. He was saying, bring them to me, and I will deal with them. And I was like, no. You know, yeah, that's good. Which was crazy too, because like there's a huge overhaul in uh, the Philippines when we were there. Like everyone was getting out of office. Like every day it was like new people like fired from the government. Mm-hmm. He's just like, yeah. Uh, that was but I don't point. think so. There's a that's different though. I think he's also been in in um, politics for a long time, so he's got the experience to know how to deal with these sort of things. Uh, yeah, that that's true too. I guess, but like, uh, so there's a difference between that and Trump, who doesn't know a single thing of politics. Yeah, that's true too. But but what was crazy is like, right. uh, so Philippines was under American rule for a while, right? Yeah. So this this was a mind blow too. So he came from uh, uh, I think it's Davao in uh, he came from like a Muslim area uh, in the Philippines, mm-hmm. and um, that place was conquered by like it was taken over. He saw so much like torment from the Americans as like. Um, they took over his area. Yeah. Right. So that he held a grudge. So that for the first time in a long time, um, mm-hmm. there's no direct alliance with Philippines and America anymore. He's siding more with Russia because he's like, "Hey, man, I've seen what you guys do. <laughs> you know what I mean?" This case. But then Trump was like, "Trump was like, I like what you're doing with your people." So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like you hate them, you love them. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Give credit where credit's due. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But also. I remember other things though too. It was like I don't think he was a Trump, Trump supporter or, though. Oh, Duterte? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah oh, he, no. was, he, he was. Saying, I think like, he said he would have like he, he, he said, Clinton or something. I don't he, remember. He said uh, he said Russia just gave me uh, guns. What are you gonna do, America? Mm-hmm. And it was like, dang, can you just said that? You know, on like news. But you know that's pretty. That's pretty cool. It's like if you look at it from an act, because ultimately countries are just businesses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all they really are. Yeah. But like the reason why we're getting to war and stuff is because like let's say you're a business with like a hitman. Mm-hmm. You have the biggest hitman, right? But like if you're a true, um, if you're a true like uh, business savant, you're gonna rule through strategy. You know, you don't need the might. Right. It's sort of like a Godfather. If you ever watched the movie, uh, it's like. He grows into it through connections. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, that's my piece. Well, what's your uh, next topic? So the next topic I got is Amazon Go. Oh yeah, this is an awesome one. This is an awesome one. So, yeah, Amazon Go. They no, open... wait, oh, wait, no, no. Let's end off with Amazon Go because my topic's not that great. Okay. It's just interesting. <laughs> all right. So all right. like, okay. So it's it's interesting how um, music now, because of the way everything is going, it's all becoming an amalgamation. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like when we were kids, so I, uh, the greatest example was Fall Out Boy came out with a new album on January 19th. And I listened to it. I was like, this is not directly rock. This is not directly pop. This is not directly soul. This is not directly EDM. But it takes, this is not directly reggae. But it takes elements from all those things and creates music that's really good. Yeah. It's not like, 
it's almost like what kind of music is that? You want to say pop, but it's like mm, it's not really pop though. It is pop. It's got like pop music, pop lyrics, but it's also got like like EDM in it. Uh huh. You know, and then it's also got like a reggae song, and you're like, okay, that's weird. You know, <laughs> I don't know what to classify right. it as. But then they were saying themselves in an interview is like, yeah, um, that like music is moving in that way and they're just taking advantage of it they're just Whoa. making songs that they like versus like trying to stick to a genre you know because when they're kids like oh you're emo punk then you're pop punk right but now it's like we just make music like it it's hard to define things now you know i think there's a mix of both though sometimes you do have to understand what's happening for sure in the music industry now like uh-huh. what's more popular yeah but you may also like that too Exactly. No, no. So, so 100%. But uh, another another good example is I just saw this interview, uh, ASAP Rocky. Uh, he He's saying that everyone's using the same kind of tunes now, mm-hmm. right? He's like, I'm an artist. I'm not a, I'm not like a, I'm not like a pony, right? Like a yeah. one trick pony. Right. Like I'm an artist. So my next album is going to be very different than what I've been doing, right? Because art is about growing, you know? And I was like, I was like, that's, that's pretty interesting. Like that's another movement right there where it's like, what kind of art do you make? Is it good? You know, right? But that's that's the, those are the risks you take when you make your own stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, what it, what I feel like it is is like you have to do something because you believe in it, and then sooner or later the whole world's gonna catch on. There's only very few outliers, and then the rest of the world is like generally a follower. Everybody wants to be a fucking leader. I can't wait to swear. My bad. Uh, everybody wants to be a leader, but like. That's how upsetting it is to me. <laughs> Everybody wants to be a leader, but nobody has like the gusto to keep being a leader. Because right. what does it mean to be a leader? It means being different from everyone else, even when everyone else is saying you're wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like that's what a true outlier is, you know? Mm-hmm. And like people who just follow the trend are not going to make a, a yeah. like a giant, you know, like a like a quake or you know what I mean? No impact. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess so. That. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. That was, that was my little bit of insight, quick insight. That like music is becoming more diverse now. It's not really about like one genre. It's about like and and it's making things that are good. Yeah, and especially now that with like Apple Music and other things, like I think a lot of these smaller indies, yeah, are getting noticed too. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and it's funny when you hear about like artists like that that understand that it's more about the art than the the fame Mm -hmm. because like you see artists who are like all about the fame and then like when they get their money they buy a bunch of stuff right but like i was watching fall boys interviews and it's like they still shop at like kmart and stuff they're like i just yeah i'm like a normal person bro like yeah uh i mean people aren't now the music industry isn't now isn't anymore like run by these um elites big uh like um studios or whatever yeah yeah, Yeah. because you can just you know We'll release a song and then it'll. Yeah, it's, uh, a good example. Kaigo, we saw that documentary. Yeah, yeah. right. Like Kaigo was just making like uh, remixes of stuff that he liked, and then people were like, "Oh, I like that." And then he didn't even know what to call it. He's like, "It's like a Hawaiian chill." <laughs> and you're like, "What the hell is a Hawaiian chill, bro?" You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, yeah. not a real genre. He made up his own genre. He's like, "I'll just call it this." Exactly. Yeah. You know, but that's that's like all trends. Well, I don't even think he called it that. I think someone ended up calling it that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He didn't call it that. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But that that's why it's so important to like it's scary but also important to like just do follow your instinct Mm -hmm. your intuition you know like it's like just just do it and if it's a hit it's a hit if it's not a hit at least you like doing it while you made it you know yeah yeah I think there's an attraction to that too right like oh they're they're free man they're their own spirit kind of thing yeah 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 that's true yeah yeah yeah. that's very true but then it's funny because it's like we say that's true but then why don't we advocate people like Trump and Duterte. They're being their own people. Uh, yeah. I, I think it depends on the... I think politics is pretty... Uh, it's a whole different kind of story. Yeah, that's true. It's not like artwork. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's a totally different kind of thing, I think. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, Amazon, go. Go. All right. You this to- is probably the most interesting thing I have ever heard of. <laughs> this is like my dream. So, you know, if you like... Technology. The future, technology. The future, the future where, is here. Where it might go? Because well, you know, uh, we, we're going to have a universal basic income after this. <laughs> get get ready, everyone. Actually, yeah, it's basically right because it, this means you know there's no more cashiers. Yeah, exactly. Universal <laughs> basic income. <laughs> so those jobs are gone. Here we go. So who doesn't like? Who wants to wait in lines at a cashier? 
Not me. Right, and then, you know, they got to scan the thing or they got to punch in that number. You know what the worst part about waiting in line is? That awkward wait where you're like, I don't yeah. know if I should talk to you. And then, you know, or... sometimes you might not have the card that works. It's like, oh, you got declined, you know. Oh, yeah, those yeah, those embarrassing it. moments. You don't yeah, want yeah. that. Yeah, no, we don't. So how do we fix that? Amazon Go fix that. Oh, my goodness, Amazon Go. <laughs> go get them. So, so it's a store with no checkout required right so like check out like uh, yeah, anyway, in the cashier so um is using these pretty interesting technologies i'll get into a little later Let, let's comprehend that no checkout yeah so no yeah Dang. yeah everything it's a virtual checkout kind of thing so how, so how does it work then so this is what they're saying on their website it's like an advanced shopping technology so you never have to wait in line wow okay uh, <laughs> So you just walk in, pick up your stuff, and you walk out. Boom. That, that is that simple as that. That's it, yo. <laughs> so, uh, how do you how do you deal with? Uh, I guess you can't deal with theft. You wouldn't need to deal with theft. Exactly. No, because it, it doesn't work. So, I'll, I'll tell you how the technology. Like how, how do you? So when you arrive, you have an app. You have the app on your phone. You oh, tap yeah. in, and you go into the store. Oh, it's sort of. Oh, are they gonna lock the door so it's like you can only enter if you have the app? Yeah, because it's like that's how, how you, it works. How you stop that's how it works. People yeah, from going in. Yeah, yeah. You got to tap in, and the doors will open, and then you go in. Like any, like you know, like a yeah, yeah. Like, like a, a subway. Cineplex. Yeah, Cineplex or a, well, Cineplex has someone checking the thing, right? That's true. That's true. Like normally for our subways here now, you just use your Presto. Yeah. And the doors open. Yeah. So yeah. same thing like that. Okay. Right. So you and then it's also kind of like you're registering you. Well, you you're in the store. Right, yeah. To buy stuff, right? Uh, and then. Um, so the so how it works is using uh, same types of technologies used in self-driving cars. So computer vision, Dang. sensor fusion, and deep learning. Wow. Okay. Okay. And so it's just you know, it's it just walkout technology automatically detects when products are taken from or returned to the shelves. Dang. So even if you pick it up, it'll add to your virtual chart. And then if, if you put it back, it'll remove from your virtual Yo, chart. they should do that for everything. Could you imagine that you just you just like click into the movie theater and you just walk in to watch a movie? Yeah, I I, I think it's it's on the line. This is also the, like their beta project in a sense. Right, right, okay. Uh, uh, I'll but tell you something that happened to somebody that did it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at the end, so could you then, imagine how quick that would all be though? It's like, oh, I'm late for my movie. Run in. You don't even need to like. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Exactly. You just walk in. Um, you just you want to pick up a sandwich. You yeah. just walk out. You don't have to talk to anybody. Yeah, because that's <laughs> one of the scan anything. Because I hate those self checkouts. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you don't even know. I, how I don't like, like using wait. those. Yeah, you have to figure it out. Yeah, so. yeah. Or but the worst one is like when you're like uh, running really late for a movie, and then you have to also factor in the ten minutes of waiting in line. Exactly. You yeah. Know, to like pay yeah. for the ticket. It's more about efficiency. Yeah, efficiency. It's yeah. it's all about efficiency here, and also about job loss. <laughs> <laughs> Efficiency and job loss. I like. It. I mean, that's what happens with technology. You just gotta, you gotta accept it. You gotta accept it. So, and then, uh, yeah, basically, it's it's on your virtual cart. Everything will pop up. You gotta okay. pick up a yogurt. Do you think so? They got sensors up on the ceiling, and they're watching you as okay. you pick up the stuff. <laughs> so you can't steal, basically. So you can't. Yeah, you're not stealing anything. Yeah. But but so something that did happen to somebody, uh -huh. uh, that they reported on it. Where they did walk out, but I guess these technologies are still in a in a beta phase in a sense. So it's not okay. Hundred percent going to pick up everything. There might be mistakes. That's where the learning comes in. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, well, so well, someone I mean. she walked out with, uh, I forgot, like a yogurt or something that didn't get put into the screen on the on the, on the okay. virtual chart. So okay. she kind of got it for free. Oh no way. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, cool. So then, like, and then basically she tweeted that, then Amazon's like... Oh, wow, she even told them. Wow, yeah, she like told them, oh, is this, like, stealing? And then she, and then Amazon's like, no, nah, it's it's okay, you can keep that. This is part of our learning thing to fix these sort of issues. Oh, so if they if they mess up, is it on you, the liability question? No, yeah, it's not on you, because the, the technology is supposed to work like you walk in and walk out, pick up exactly, your thing and go out. So exactly. it's not her fault, of course, it's it's... Amazon's technology had some glitches or errors or bugs where they need to fix. Right, 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 right. right. So I, I think this is this is great, but this only has one store, which is in Seattle. Oh, too bad. Yeah. So it's going to take some time, of course. It's it's a big 
like there's still a lot of bugs. I, I I don't know if there's a lot of bugs, but like there's still of course stuff to learn. Right. But speaking of efficiency, it's like uh, Apple Apple Pay is a part of that like efficiency trend. Oh yeah, I, I love using that. You know what I mean? It's like and if you have the watch too, you just like click on. It's almost like we're going towards that future. Uh, have you ever seen uh, Seven Sisters? Yeah. Uh, I didn't fully watch the whole thing, but like, I saw the beginning. But they have those there's, bracelets. There's two different uh, titles to that movie, actually. Oh, well, it's two titles. Uh, what happened to Monday? And, oh, uh, Seven Sisters. Yeah. Ooh, what there's happened to titles. Monday? What happened to Monday? <laughs> That's the title of the movie. Is that is that like? Oh, interesting. All right, whatever. Because I was looking for that one time too, and it was like because I remember that Seven Sisters. And I'm like, where's that movie? And then so I found funny. it, but it's like a different title for some reason. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, so. Um, with the Seven Sisters, there's, like, a bracelet that you can use to, like, access things, right? They have to, like, check or whatever. <coughs> yeah. So, um, so, yeah, it's just interesting to think about. It. It's, like, we could be going towards that future. We are in that future where now if you wear an Apple an iWatch, you could just use pay, uh, pay using your <coughs> watch. Walk yeah, in, so with, with, the, <clears throat> with the iPhone, you got to use your fingerprint to okay. scan it, right? Oh, my voice is, like, oh my goodness. messed up here. <clears throat> So you're just so excited about the product. <laughs> yeah. So but yeah, with the phone cuz it's already biosensored, right? Yeah. So you just tap it, right? So it's even more quicker. <laughs> you're so excited My you can't even speak. Like, can't even speak about the product cuz you're so excited fish. I have no water beside me, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um so I think it's 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 awesome. Nice. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Just got that Amazon Go app. Just fly to Seattle. <laughs> My goodness, your voice. My voice, like, <laughs> all right. I think, I think that was a sign to, like, end it. Uh, is there anything else you want to say uh, specifically about Amazon Go being amazing? Um, no, man. I think I think it's cool. Um, it's the future for sure. Like, I think that's it's, really it's, sick. Yeah. I hope all – I hope but all – It's going to um, take a while. It'll take a while. Yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Of course. Once they, once they have the software ready, then they can just do it. But, I mean, like, they even – they got a store ready, right? So that's – that's exactly, a good yeah, step yeah. forward. Right but it's, it's, it's just, it's all about the coding now. You know what I mean? Yeah, and getting those sensors working exactly correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so it, uh, use the, because I'm trying to comprehend it. Use the phone and then use your GPS or like, how would it, how does it know what you took? Just the pictures? Like the so, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Those are the sensors above you uh, on the ceiling that are watching what you're picking up. And what if you put it back? That's what I said too. Yeah, it so it'll show when you pick it up. It'll show up on your virtual cart. When you put it back, it'll remove it. Wouldn't it make more sense if you like it, it's the code is like uh, whatever is in the vicinity of your your phone? So it's like if if it'll just know, like let's say you have um, everything's got like a RFID or GPS thing, and then when you come close to it with your phone. Um, it'll There's know probably that you're something it. to that, yeah. Because that makes you do, sense. You've right? got to like, sign in, right? No, but but so it's like they may know. Why, why do you need the picture if if it's on your person as you leave? They'll know that you you took it. If it's on, oh, you mean like if each you, each individual item has a specific code, right, right, right. right. And then that code. Yeah, activates. but that's what I'm saying. This is still a beta, in a sense. It's right. yeah, Amazon. You can should still use it. Amazon. Yeah. You should hire me for my uh, brilliant ideas. I, I'm one. only talking about the rough information of what the technology is. There's probably more to that. Because I don't think it's I don't think it's just picture alone. Because picture alone wouldn't make sense. No, it's not. It's not pictures. It's it's it, there are sensors. Okay, yeah. So that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I said. There's just, just make it all sensor though. It, so it's computer vision, sensor fusion, and oh no, so, on top so, of that right, so, is, so that's uh, different. Learning. That's different from what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like each individual product has its own uh, barcode, right? Yeah. So if each individual barcode had its own. Um, like piece of code that activates when you're near a phone. I don't know how that's gonna work, but like then it'll know that you you're holding on to it. You know what I mean? Right. It's like a tracker. Each thing's got a tracker, and if it's on you as you leave, then it knows that you have the tracking. Like you just you bought it. Mm -hmm. Technically. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do that. I don't know the you know ins and outs of coding and all that stuff. But sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Maybe this is their easiest way or the simplest way to do things. You know, I like, guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, cause for, do for you, me, that sounds more logical. No, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, Because, like, cameras is like, well, what if you have a bad angle and has a no? No, it's everywhere. Long? Oh, okay. It's all along the thing, on the ceiling. I see, I see. It's not like one camera. Well, that's pretty There's cool. There's so many of it. Does it just have an expected rollout date for the rest of the world? 
No. Oh, too bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, they have a video, so we'll put that on, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll overlay the show. Video. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Tech, tech story today. Nice. All right. So, uh, to sum up, understand that there are two sides to every story. Some people are jerks. Some people are not jerks. So follow your intuition, and the future is here. And now, future is here and now. Here and now, uh, universal basic income. Please come fast, <laughs> so we can all have some money. Right. All right. Till next time. You got anything else? That's it. Man. All right. Take it easy. Yeah. Easy. Bye.